It's 6.30, I'm Kyle Pizorski. Ahead, aid arrives in Gaza from a temporary pier, plus an attempted homicide at a Janesville Walgreens. Your top stories are coming up. Mild start to our Sunday. Going to be a nice day once again. Temperatures in the 50s to low 60s. Headed to near 80, but we do have a first warn alert day for some storms on Tuesday. More coming up. Also, campaign 2024 continues with President Biden attacking his opponent Saturday ahead of his speech today at Morehouse College. That's all ahead here on Weekend Mornings. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It is Sunday, May 19th. Reality star Jojo Siwa turns 20 today. Let's begin by taking a look outside this morning. Kelly Slipka is in for Jacob with your first one forecast. Uh, Kelly, like you said, uh, we got an alert day in the forecast, but at least today it's going to be a pretty decent day outside. Yeah, yesterday was really warm. We had some yeah. upper 80s across the area yesterday afternoon. Maybe not that warm today, but still going to be a nice warm day. We do have quite a bit of uh, sunshine this morning. Noticing a cluster of storms though off to the west that will start to bring in a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. This will be mainly some high level clouds that will filter out the sun and eventually this whole cluster, this whole mess is going to come our way and bring us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow morning. So enjoy the sun today with temperatures getting close to 80 this afternoon. We will look at some scattered showers and storms tomorrow. I think most of these will be just your garden variety storms firing up. But stronger storms expected to develop. That'll be coming our way on Tuesday, especially Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. 61 in Madison right now. Wanakee a little bit cooler at 59 or 56. Mazomani currently at 53 degrees. So a nice start to the morning with fairly light winds. The winds won't be as much of a factor as what we had yesterday. They're actually coming in out of the northeast. You got to remember yesterday they were out of the southwest. So it won't be quite as warm, but still headed well into the 70s, getting close to 80 later today. We'll talk more about the storms tomorrow and that first warn alert day on Tuesday coming up. Kelly, thank you. We'll check back in just a bit. Now into our top stories this half hour. We begin in the Middle East where aid trucks have moved ashore in Gaza. They were seen first arriving Friday morning. Then yesterday, several men in southern Gaza intercepted them, seizing food boxes in a dramatic show of desperation. The pier built to accommodate the trucks delivering the aid was anchored on Thursday. CENTCOM, which is delivering the aid, says no U.S. troops were ashore in Gaza in their effort to deliver these supplies. Here in southern Wisconsin, breaking news. Janesville police say they've arrested a person who they say stabbed two people inside a Walgreens Saturday night. It happened at the Court Street location. JPD saying this morning the two victims were transported to an area hospital for their injuries. The suspect, a 27-year-old man, has been taken into custody. Police say the incident was unprovoked and the victims did not know the suspect. And also new this morning, we have learned a person was arrested following a crash in the belt line this morning. A head-on crash happened on the east belt line, uh, eastbound lane of the belt line between Highway 51 and Interstate 3990. The driver was traveling westbound, veering into the eastbound lane, crashing into another. Madison Police telling News 3 now there were no significant injuries as a result of the crash and believe the driver was under the influence. Across the country, President Biden is set to deliver the commencement address at Morehouse College in Atlanta today. It comes in the face of potential protests there. CBS's Christian Benvenides reports Biden is looking to shore up support amongst black voters, which were crucial in his 2020 campaign victory. At Morehouse College in Atlanta, fencing is up around campus over concerns for possible protests during President Joe Biden's commencement speech at the historically black college. Some students, faculty and alumni are protesting his visit over his policies in the Israel-Hamas war. The school's president, David Thomas, warned he will halt graduation ceremonies if demonstrations erupt. If my choice is 20 people being arrested on national TV on the Morehouse campus, taken away in zip ties during our commencement, before we would reach that point, I would conclude the ceremony. President Biden is making a strong appeal to African-American voters who were instrumental in his 2020 win, but have shown signs of fracturing support. Biden flipped Georgia in 2020, but if the election were held today, a New York Times Siena poll shows him losing to former President Donald Trump by 10 points. This election, lots of stake, lots of stake. It's not about me, it's about the alternative. On Saturday, Biden kicked off his latest campaign swing with a stop at a famed black-owned restaurant in Atlanta. My opponent is not a good loser, <laughs> but he's a loser. <laughs> 
The former president was in Texas, where he accepted the endorsement of the National Rifle Association. Under crooked Joe Biden, everything you stand for is under threat like never before. Second Amendment is under siege. Our Constitution is being run through the shredder. Trump and Biden are set to square off in their first debate next month, which takes place in Atlanta. Christian Benavides, CBS News. A CBS News poll from March showed black voters support for Biden has dropped to 76 percent compared to 87 who said they voted for him in 2020. Back here in Wisconsin, the state Republican Party is holding its state convention this weekend in Appleton. Throughout Saturday, we heard from GOP leadership on how they hope to tackle the election through unity. Later on this summer, Republicans will meet in Milwaukee for their national nominating convention. To the Cooley region now, where the owners of the Dubin store are not only helping people to buy affordable products, but also helping people who previously served jail time. Jeremy Wall reports. Since last year, Willa McKenzie had the dream of opening the bin store. Last month, her dream came true. The bin store opened in the Valley View Mall. It's a retailer where consumers can buy just about anything. You come in, you're treasure hunting for all kinds of things, and you just never know what you're going to find. And then when you come in, you find things that are a lot cheaper than you would normally get. Open five days a week. Each day, there's a different deal. But what sets this location apart from others? The employees. The McKenzie's employ people who have been released from jail and are trying to get back on track. But I haven't been on the other side where I could receive people in the community and help them get some jobs, get back on their feet, get them to prove themselves again and then move forward in their life. Willa and her husband opened the store to give those people a chance. I wanted to have inclusion for people that might be disenfranchised workers. One of those people is Cheng Zhang. The job it helped me because in the past, I was like running around and doing bad things. So I went to prison, I got out, and then, yeah, this job has really helped me to uh, keep me busy, stay out of trouble. Zhang and his colleagues are cutting open boxes and preparing the store for the next business day. Mackenzie is also helping people like Zhang get other jobs. We do the ABCs. You get a job here. Then we want to promote you and go for a better job. So we'll help you with a resume. We're going to help you um, maybe apply for another job if you want to go full time. And then we want you to find your career. That's Jeremy Wall reporting. The Ben store is open Saturdays through Wednesdays. Taking a look now at some other news around Wisconsin. If you want to visit a state park at no cost, we got some good news. The Wisconsin DNR has announced its free fun weekend. It'll take place on June 1st and 2nd. On those days, the DNR will waive fees for admissions into state parks as well as free fishing licenses and trail passes. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Milwaukee uh, in Milwaukee, America's heroes were honored during the support the troops ride and memorial ceremony. Fox 6 Milwaukee reporting the goal was to increase people's understanding of the military's role in society while honoring those who serve. And it was in Rhinelander yesterday where people showed up for the fourth annual Hodeg Heritage Festival, celebrating everything about the mythical creature. Roughly 3,000 people showed up throughout the day to celebrate the animal, created in 1896 by local Eugene Shepard. Now into some consumer news. A popular chain restaurant abruptly closes dozens of locations and the Dow hits a milestone. Christine Lazar has more in this Eye Consumer Report. The Dow Jones closed above 40,000 points for the first time in history this week. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ also hit record highs. The milestone came after a report that indicated inflation may be cooling. The Consumer Price Index report showed prices rose 3.4% from last April. That's slightly lower than March's 3.5%. Grocery stores and car dealerships are where consumers found the biggest price relief. More than 50 Red Lobster restaurants across the U.S. abruptly shuttered their doors this week. The seafood chain has recently struggled, reporting millions in losses last year that were partially blamed on its endless shrimp deal. The closings are across more than 20 states, including five locations in Texas and California. And Swift Economics is sweeping Europe. Barclays Bank estimates Taylor Swift's Eras Tour will bring more than a billion dollars to the UK economy next month. 
Thousands of U.S. fans are crossing the ocean to see the icon in Europe, where tickets are much cheaper than they were in the States. An estimated 20% of the tickets to her four sold-out shows in Sweden were purchased by Americans. Those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. Time now is 6.40, still ahead. Shane Hogan has a new health conversation, plus some travel advice ahead of Memorial Day. And let's take a live look outside at the state capitol building. Kelly will have your full forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. Jalen Banks, News 3 Now at 6 and 10, weekends moving forward. Save on new champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new champion windows because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. For moderate to severe Crohn's disease, Skyrizi is the first IL-23 inhibitor that can deliver remission and visibly improve damage of the intestinal lining. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to. Liver problems may occur in Crohn's disease. Control of Crohn's means everything to me. Ask your gastroenterologist about Skyrizi. Control is everything to me. Learn how AbV could help you save. You've got this. Your big moment on their big day. The dress? Another one you'll never wear. Gift? Practical. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with early pay on direct deposits. So when you get invited to your third destination wedding in as many months, we'll be there with you. When we first met Todd, we thought Jen was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you've got this with Associated Bank. Megan Tim, Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka. On this a beautiful Sunday morning, a lot of the sunshine this morning. The winds are a lot lighter, and it's going to be another nice, mild, if not warm day today. Not as warm as yesterday but uh, still uh, well in, into the uh, 70s, maybe getting close to 80. We are expecting uh, sunshine today. Now, a little bit more cloud cover streaming in as we go through the afternoon hours. These are going to be mainly some high clouds that will filter out the sun. We are looking at some scattered showers and storms tomorrow. One round coming in tomorrow. The second punch comes our way Tuesday. We could see a couple of rounds coming our way, it looks like, as we go into Tuesday. And some of these storms uh, do have the potential of producing some hail, some damaging winds, and can't even rule out an isolated tornado. So enjoy today's sunshine. Temperatures in the lower 70s here at the noon hour. A little bit more cloud cover, at least some high clouds filtering out the sun throughout the afternoon as temperatures get up close to 80. Noticing some showers up there in parts of extreme western and northwestern areas of the state. Now this is a Monday morning. Probably starting out dry in the morning hours, but as we get into the afternoon or late morning hours into the afternoon, that's when we will see a cluster of showers and some embedded storms roll into southwestern Wisconsin and kind of rotate right through south central areas of the state. So tomorrow afternoon does look pr pretty wet and also some rumbles of thunder rolling through. And then we get a break tomorrow night into early Tuesday morning, but then another round comes in. And some of these storms already to, uh, Tuesday morning do have the potential producing some hail and some damaging winds. More rounds come at us. Uh, so we'll see several of these rounds coming at us Tuesday. 
Once again, especially in the afternoon and early evening, that's when we do have the potential of large hail, damaging winds, can't rule out some isolated tornadoes. That'll be Tuesday. That's when we have the uh, first warrant alert day because of the potential of that severe weather. Uh, so just keep abreast of that latest forecast. Make sure you have the first warrant weather app and get the latest from there. All right, these are the severe weather impacts. It looks like the, the highest impacts, which we would put in the medium category, would be wind and hail, but even tornadoes can't rule out those. Uh, with some of these uh, storms that roll through. Now, tomorrow's severe weather uh, outlook looks pretty minimal. It's marginal on a scale of one to five. That's the lowest. But on Tuesday, notice how that gets into the enhanced level on a scale of one to five. That would be a category three. So something to be watching for as we go through the uh, beginning of the week. Temperatures, though, will start to fall as that system rotates on through. We'll be near 80 uh, going into the early part of the week. But as we go into the middle part of the week, we're talking about some upper 60s and low 70s, generally in the 70s for La Crosse going forward. All right, La Crosse, we're looking at some scattered showers and storms tomorrow. So enjoy the mild temperatures today, 78, 78 tomorrow. First warm alert day because of the potential of some strong to severe storms. Then we clear out for a time, cool off a little bit. Then we're looking at some scattered showers Friday, Saturday, going into the upcoming holiday weekend. It's not going to rain the entire period, but we'll have to dodge some rain. And for Madison, first warm alert day because of the potential of severe storms on Tuesday. Still some scattered storms on Monday. A little bit cooler Wednesday and Thursday with some on and off showers Friday, Saturday. Then again, Monday and Tuesday of next week. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Well, it's safe to say summer is here. A good time to work on your health. Shane Hogan is back with a new health conversation about taking advantage of in-season fruits and vegetables. Well, summer is upon us, and it's a good time to start reaping the benefits of spring planting. Dr. Rupa Shaw, family medicine provider and wellness coach at SSM Health, joins me to talk about the benefits of seasonal eating. All right, Dr. Shaw start off pretty basic. What is seasonal eating? Seasonal eating basically just means focusing on the different fruits and vegetables that are in the season, mm -hmm. right? Because certain vegetables and fruits really develop, you know, develop well and grow really well during um, specific seasons right. and need that specific weather. And so summer is a great time to really focus on that. Yeah, we're yeah. so lucky here, especially, you especially know, so much good Madison. produce. Yeah. So yeah. what are some of the health benefits of seasonal eating? Because, you know, you might think, well, fruits and vegetables, no matter what are good for you, yes, yeah. but how about specifically when it comes to eating seasonal? Yeah, so number one, it's very nutrient dense, right? So okay. these fruits and vegetables are really harvested at peak peak time. So they've got a whole a lot of time to develop like a lot of vitamins and minerals. So they're very nutrient dense, which is healthy for us, mm -hmm. right? Um, number two, you get a wide variety of these mm. uh, different fruits and vegetables that normally you might not get throughout the year. Um, you sure. can freeze things, keep them for the rest of the year. So it can really kind of continue um, ongoing. Right. Um, and then when we eat that variety of foods, remember it's good for our gut health, right? Um, developing that healthy gut microbiome, mm -hmm. which is good for if you have any digestive issues, you get a lot of fiber, decrease um, bloating, gas, all that stuff. So it's good for our gut. And then lastly, when we eat a lot of those fruits and vegetables, we're getting all those phytonutrients and antioxidants because mm. we're kind of eating more of the rainbow. So it's good <laughs> for our immune system as well. Yeah, so lots, lots of, of really good health benefits. Not only so. is it the peak for how nutritious they are, but it's also the peak for how yes. they taste. I mean, when you're eating yeah, seasonally, so you know, true, right? it's when they taste the best as well. That's exactly right. Now, yep. what's the best way to start with seasonal eating? Yeah, well, for obvious reasons here in Madison, yeah. I mean, visiting the farmer's market oh, is one of, of the best ways, right? Um, and you can really interact with the people that grow your food, right? Mm -hmm. The different farmers. So you can see what's in season now. You can even talk about like what's coming in the next sure. few weeks. You can learn a lot about it that way through them as well. Um, another great way is to have your own garden, right? You can learn about about um, growing your food, uh, the produce that, you know, is seasonal. Um, another great way just to, to kind of get that more into your own backyard. A yeah, bit getting too. to that so. farmer's market. I mean, we're so blessed in this area yes. to be have so much variety yes. all locally too. It's uh, a great way to start eating seasonally. All right, Dr. Yes. Shaw, where yeah. else can people find you? So they can find me on Instagram at wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right, thank yep. you as always. Thank you. Our thanks to Shane as well. Looking ahead now, the Transportation Security Administration says it's uh, ready for the busiest summer travel season ever, beginning with the upcoming Memorial Day holiday. Between May 23rd and May 29th, the TSA expects to screen more than 18 million passengers at airport checkpoints nationwide. This past Friday, or no, this coming Friday, the 24th, is forecasted to be the busiest day of the long Memorial Day weekend, with 3 million people expected to fly. The agency says things will only get busier later on this summer. There will be some days this summer 
that we will likely see 3 million travelers in our screening checkpoints across the country. Our current record is about 2.9 million, uh, but we expect 3 or 3.1 million travelers, uh, most likely during the busiest days uh, during the core of the summer in, in July and early part of August. Already this year, the TSA says passenger travel is up 8%. If you plan to travel to maybe, say, Lake Geneva for Memorial Day, be warned, Wisconsin cicadas have now emerged. According to TMJ4 News Milwaukee, they are being seen near and around Lake Geneva. This year, two broods of periodical cicadas are emerging throughout the country. The last time they emerged at the same time was back in 1803. Etymologists say it will take about another week before the cicada signature hum will begin. We'll stick around next on Weekend Mornings. Andrew checks in with Saturday's News and Sports. Plus, Kelly has a quick check at today's weather. Right, a chip. <clears throat> Just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry. My cousin's got a guy. <laughs> Hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house guest, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your home renewal with two-for-one windows and no interest for one year. Plus, we'll get it done Feldco fast. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for feldco Ah, taking the time to savor Thomas's crunchy yet soft bagels. Thanks, Tom. This is nice. It's Tom, actually. Right, uh, Tom. No, Tom. 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 It's Tom. Tom. It's Tom. 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 Not Tom. Tom. You doing that on purpose? Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Bad sleep? The worst. There's really no excuse for bad sleep. During the Memorial Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every thousand you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, plus six years no interest and free shipping. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. Kelly needs new floors. I need new floors. So she went to the flooring experts at LL Flooring, and it was as easy as one, two, three, floor. Nice one, Kelly. <laughs> LL Flooring, every step covered. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for Provo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Nobody wants to put a new roof over their head. It's too expensive. And if they can extend the life of that roof and get five more years or 10 more years, it's a no-brainer. What RoofMax does is it helps people in that they don't have to spend that $15,000, $20,000 on a new roof. They can spend pennies on the dollar. The RoofMax product was a small percentage of cost of replacing a roof. This is a great financial decision for us as a community. Monday at 10, after toxic water poisoned families at a U.S. Marine Corps base, the government promised to take care of their medical bills, but many never received a dime. We deny these families constantly, and that's what we should worry about. A local veteran shares his struggles applying for help for his sick wife, only to be denied. They're not taking responsibility for it. They're fighting it. I'm looking for answers to why these toxic water denials keep happening. News 3 Now investigates Monday at 10. All right, good morning, uh, meteorologist Kelly Slifka. Temperatures are a little bit cooler toward La Crosse, down to 53, while at 60 in Madison, Janesville is warm as 66. So we did have that weak front pass through overnight. That's bringing slightly drier, cooler weather uh, this morning. In fact, the winds have switched around the north, but we are looking at a lot of sunshine this morning. A few high, thin clouds start to stream in as we go through the afternoon hours. Either way, it should be a beautiful day today. Now, things will start to uh, get a little bit more interesting going into tomorrow. We'll see a, a cluster of showers and some embedded thunderstorms roll in as we go into a Monday, mainly later in the morning into the afternoon, rotating into southwestern areas of the state. And that'll be with us throughout the afternoon, so it looks fairly wet much of Monday afternoon. 
and uh, temperatures will be on the warm side today. Mild in uh, the lacrosse area with a little bit more cloud cover. Temperatures in the upper 70s this afternoon. Winds will be a lot lighter than they were yesterday. As we go toward Madison, noticing the winds are out of the northeast behind that front. And those will be pretty light. Temperatures approaching 80 later today. More of those storms tomorrow and also that first warm alert day on Tuesday coming up. Former Wisconsin men's hockey coach Marco Siki held his sixth annual Casting for Kids fishing tournament yesterday. 80 boats buoyed the waters of Madison, looking to reel in the most fish, and you could not have asked for a nicer day for it. They, they hauled in just about every fish in all of Madison's five lakes and kept raising money for the Carbone Cancer Center afterwards at a silent auction. That's why Mark does this, and that's why he gets so excited to help his community that he tells me he gets those game day jitters the day before. I think what's most rewarding, again, working with the people and seeing the people, again, they're phenomenal. That's what this thing's all about. But you see kids coming through here right now that have been affected by uh, things at the children's hospital, different diseases, cancer, and you're seeing them and you see the effects, potentially what our awareness, we're not raising that much money yet, uh, but the awareness certainly is going to help. And Jeff Sanger said it best. Uh, Noah went through the, the children's hospital and the cancer uh, center, and he's a survivor. And our little bit that we're doing here helps. It really helps. Brewers down in Houston try to even the series with the Astros, tied at ones in the fifth, and then William Contreras happens, because who else would it be? Truly not just one of the best catchers in baseball, one of the best players in baseball. Smashes a home run and brings two more Brewers in with him. Getting this guy, it could go down as an all-time trade for the crew. He's hitting 350 with seven bombs and 37 RBIs and was the difference maker last night. The crew won it, four to two was the final. Beloit College's second straight trip to the NCAA tournament was cut short yesterday after they lost each of their first two games in their regional. With that loss, their season ends, but it was a truly fantastic season. Meanwhile, in Whitewater, things could not have gone much better. With yesterday's blowout, 20-3 win, they move into the final day, or today, of their regional undefeated. All they've got to do is win one game, and they advance. That's your morning sports fix. Have a sensational Sunday. Thanks, Andrew. Coming up next, we'll have a look at our top morning headlines, including the latest fighting in Gaza. Stick with us. You're watching Weekend Mornings. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. You know what's brilliant? Boring. Think about it. Boring is the unsung catalyst for bold. What straps gold to a rocket and hurdles it into space? Boring does. Boring makes vacations happen. Early retirement's possible. Startups start up because it's smart, dependable, and steady. All words you want from your bank. For nearly 160 years, PNC Bank has been brilliantly boring so you can be happily fulfilled, which is pretty unboring if you think about it. Save big money with these hot deals in Menards. All prices after 11% rebate. Colored wood mulch is just $1.97. These Dawson retaining wall blocks are only 99 cents each. 10-inch hanging baskets are just $6.99. And this colonial casing is only $1.99. These hot deals won't last long. Hurry in before time runs out. Sign up for Menards emails to get more hot deals. Plus the weekly flyer right to your inbox. Save big money at Menards. Steinhoffel's Memorial Day mattress sale is on now. Get a Beautyrest Queen mattress for only $3.99. Save up to $1,200 on Beautyrest adjustable base sets. Upgrade your sleep to the Beautyrest Black for $50 per month. Plus get $300 Steinhoffel's cash and a $100 rewards card. You'll rest easy when you use Steinhoffel's 60-month financing. Steinhoffel's, your mattress destination. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. Hi, I'm Steve Bozeman from Steve's Auto Sales in Madison. I came up with a great sale for you guys, $29.99. I have 10 cars in that price range. Stop by today if you want the best deals in Madison. We have the warranties available. 
We also have financing for these $29.99 cars. Go to stevesautotrucksales.net. I'm located on Stoughton Road. Stop by and I'll give you the best deal in town. Steve's Auto Sales, the best deals in Madison. Search for Steve's on your phone right now. I would like to tell you about the man I love, Eric, who is running for the U.S. Senate. A fourth generation Wisconsinite, he started his first business in his 20s and then built and turned around over a dozen companies, creating thousands of good paying jobs. He believes in the American dream and he wants it to be possible for everyone. Above all, Eric is a man of integrity. These are the qualities I want in a U.S. Senator to fight for Wisconsin. How about you? I'm Eric Covdy and I approve this message. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. Right now at 7, we take a look at the latest news out of Gaza. Water cannons being used Saturday to disperse protesters calling for hostages to be released. We have the details coming up. Plus, President Biden making a push for support amongst African-American voters as he's set to deliver commencement remarks later on today. Plus, Kelly has your first worn forecast with some 80s that we're tracking out today. Another great one to get outside. Good morning and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Zorski. As we begin this new hour, let's send it over to Kelly for a look at your first warm forecast. Good morning, Kelly. How are you doing today? Uh, pretty good. You can't really complain after the uh, beautiful weather yesterday. It might have been a little too warm for some, but either way, it definitely felt uh, pretty good if you were out, uh, out and about. Temperatures this morning are just a little bit cooler, especially areas to the north. We actually had a weak cold front pass through. We're still sitting at 62 in Madison, but as you get up to the Dells, a Lone Rock 58, 56 right now in La Crosse. But it's going to be another nice mild if not warm day maybe not as warm as what we had yesterday definitely a lot less wind as well quite a bit of sunshine this morning we will start to see some high thin clouds stream in especially areas to the west as we go through the afternoon hours into the evening these are these high clouds that'll uh, filter out some of the sun but all in all it should be a pretty decent afternoon with light winds expected now things will start to change tomorrow we'll probably start off dry early in the morning hours but by the late morning hours, some showers and embedded thunderstorms rolling into a southwestern Wisconsin, Prairie du Chien, Platteville, Viroqua, over toward Dodgeville and Mineral Point. As we get toward the noon hour, the Madison area, the Dells expecting some of these showers and storms to rotate on in. And it looks like a pretty solid area of rain. You can see that little spin up as it rotates on in for tomorrow. Then we're talking about more storms, it looks like, by Tuesday. So all in all, pretty uh, decent day. A little bit more cloud cover for La Crosse in the afternoon hours as temperatures rise in the upper 70s and in Madison. Looking at some high uh, thin clouds for the afternoon as we get up close to 80. More on the potential for some severe storms by Tuesday coming up. Kelly, thank you. Tensions remain high in Israel. On Saturday, police in Tel Aviv used water cannons to disperse protesters who were calling for the release of all hostages in Gaza, as well as for the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But the focus still remains on the fighting that has left Palestinians now uh, with nowhere left to run. It's some of the fiercest fighting seen in the northern Jabalia refugee camp in months. The Israeli military said in January it had dismantled Hamas's command structure across Gaza's north. But now, says the resurgent Hamas, are back. But it's in the southern city of Rafah, where despite overwhelming international pressure, including from President Biden, not to carry out an offensive there, Israel is now in the 10th day of what it's calling a precise operation. But strikes like this, leaving behind massive craters and streets where civilians had been sheltering, are anything but precise. Enough already, says Um Saeed. I'm 57 years old and have never seen a war like this. Every time the Israeli army orders us to a safe zone, it's not safe. The worsening violence comes as the Israeli military said tonight it had recovered the remains of hostage Ron Benjamin, who was believed killed on October 7th. On Friday, it was also announced the remains of three others, Amit Buskila, Itza Galarenter and Shani Luke were also retrieved. Shani's mother, Ricarda, told us the family were told in December that there was strong evidence the 22-year-old had been killed before her body was taken into Gaza. And that while it was difficult to learn Shani's remains had been found, it was also a relief. How will you honor her memory going forward? 
I want her to remember her really the, as the light that she was for us and for other people. She really believed in peace and she, she told us once even that there are no bad people. There are just people that have a bad time. I mean, that was her, what she said all the time. NPR's Dive, CBS News, Tel Aviv. Staying overseas, Ukraine's struggle in the ongoing war there has caused the country to enact a new mobilization law that will require all men of fighting age to register with the military as the country faces major shortages of manpower and ammunition. Male Ukrainian citizens between the age of 18 and 60 living in the country and abroad are required to register with the military, but only those between the age of 25 and 60 can be drafted. Women can serve in the military on a voluntary basis. Uh, Wisconsin Republicans in, are in Appleton this weekend for the state convention. Meanwhile, in Georgia this weekend, President Joe Biden is working to make a strong appeal to African-American voters. They were instrumental in his 2020 win, but now there are signs of fracturing support. The president is also facing a high-stakes address today at Morehouse College, a historically black university for men. Some students, faculty, and alumni are protesting his visit over his policies in the Israel-Hamas war. This is an opportunity for Biden to uh, uh, come out, uh, talk, talk about what he's done for the black community, mm -hmm. as well as address young people and uh, voters of color's um, disdain for the actions of Israel in Gaza. A CBS News poll earlier this year showed Trump leading Biden in Georgia by three points. But this past week, a New York Times-Siena College poll has Trump up by 10. Trump and Biden are set to square off in their first debate next month. The United Auto Workers failed to unionize workers at a pair of Mercedes-Benz plants in Alabama this week. But it was on Friday when more than half of the vo uh, workers voted no. But the UAW is still hailing the decision as a positive sign. CBS's George, Michael George has the details. A defeat for Mercedes-Benz employees who hope to join the United Auto Workers. You know, it didn't break the way we wanted it to, but at the end of the day, we've all got to go back in there and we got to work together. The movement to unionize saw opposition not just from the company, but also the Republican governor of Alabama, Kay Ivey, who tweeted after the vote, we are not the sweet home to UAW. Mercedes-Benz said in a statement, our goal throughout this process was to ensure every eligible team member had the opportunity to participate in a fair election. On Friday, 56% of workers voted against unionizing. Labor expert Professor Harley Shaken says the fact that the vote was close shows UAW is making gains in the South. It is very significant that the union got 44% of the vote. That's a strong first time showing. Just last month, UAW scored a big win in Tennessee as Volkswagen workers overwhelmingly voted to unionize. UAW President Sean Fain says they aren't giving up on Mercedes-Benz. This isn't a failure. Um, this isn't fatal. This is a, this is a Michael George, CBS News, New York. Some medical news now. Surgical teams, which include men and women, are now associated with better post-op outcomes. That's according to a new paper in the British Journal of Surgery. It looked at attributes, the improved outcomes to different skills and experiences male and female doctors bring to the workplace, finding that teamwork helps. Researchers also note that female doctors in operating rooms still remain uncommon. Water beads in eye-popping colors were marketed as, as children's toys for years, but they can pose a real danger if they are eaten. The story of one Wisconsin family's heartbreaking loss is now driving a possible legislative change. Bradley Blackburn explains. They are super absorbent polymer pieces that can swell in size a hundred times when exposed to water. But Taylor Bethard never imagined water beads could have such tragic power. No family should have to experience what we have experienced because of a toy. Last year, the Wisconsin mother of five found her 10-month-old daughter unresponsive in her crib and called 911, but it was too late. An autopsy found Esther died of an intestinal blockage, a single water bead inside the infant's body. Her family now changed forever. My six-and-a-half-year-old son, Esther was his best friend, and while I lost my daughter, he lost his best friend at six years old. They don't know how or when Esther ingested the bead. 
The products have been common toys for years, often part of sensory kits or craft sets. But new bipartisan legislation called Esther's Law would ban the sale of water beads for children. I am hopeful in Esther's memory that this can be passed. Last December, major retailers, including Amazon, Walmart, and Target, announced they'll no longer sell water beads for children, but millions and millions of beads are already in homes. There are literally tens of thousands of water beads in an individual product, and they can end up everywhere. You may think you have picked up every last water bead, and you haven't. Even with this law, even if they go off the market, the risk is still there. It's still there until they're gone. A family's deep loss and fight to protect others. While the bill would prohibit the sale of water beads to children, they could remain on the market as decor for adults. The bill would direct the CPSC to regulate colors to limit their appeal to children and apply clear warning labels. Time now is 710. Still ahead, we take a look at some fun events which took place Saturday in the 608. And let's take a live look outside at the state capitol. Kelly will have another check of the forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. Experience the Channel 3000 News app today. Enjoy a website-like layout and swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. Hi, it's Preston with Window World, your locally owned and nationally known window company located right here in Madison. Come see what our Window World family can do for your next remodel. Larson's Platinum Storm Door is the perfect marriage of strength and beauty. For a limited time only, when you purchase a Window World entry door, you'll get $100 off a Larson Platinum Storm Door. Visit windowworldmadison.com or call us today. When these orange dreams go frosty, this takes me back, man. It's like taking a trip down memory lane. I didn't know they sold dreamsicles on memory lane. For the flavor that takes you back. Get Wendy's new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. I told myself I was okay with my moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. With my psoriatic arthritis symptoms. But just okay isn't okay. And I was done suddenly. If you still have symptoms after a TNF blocker like Humira or Enbrel, Rinvoke is different and may help. Rinvoke is a once-daily pill that can rapidly relieve joint pain, stiffness and swelling in RA and PSA, relieve fatigue, and stop further joint damage. And in PSA, can leave skin clear or almost clear. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers including lymphoma and skin, heart attack, stroke, and GI tears occurred. People 50 and older with a heart disease risk factor have an increased risk of death. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Done suddenly? Ask your rheumatologist for Rinvoke. And take back what's yours. AbbVie could help you save. Uh, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio. Another nice start to the morning. Very comfortable out here. We've got the sun coming up now, and temperatures are starting to respond as well. We actually had a weak cold front pass through yesterday, uh, bringing our temperatures down a little bit. Probably not quite as warm as yesterday, but still a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine as temperatures get into the upper 70s to near 80. Winds will be lighter, too, with high pressure right overhead. You do see that cluster of storms over Nebraska. That'll send some high, thin clouds 
our way later this afternoon into tonight. But it looks like that system, that whole system will be on the move and br eventually bring us some showers and storms already developing tomorrow morning and that'll continue into tomorrow afternoon. But right now we have clear skies. Temperatures are mild, 62 with winds noticing they're out of the north now at six miles per hour. That's behind the cold front. Yesterday they were out of the southwest and they will be a lot lighter today. So it should be a nice day as uh, temperatures get close to 80 with some filtered sunshine for the afternoon. Scattered storms tomorrow. I don't think this will be anything real major, but could be a kind of wet going into the afternoon hours, but some stronger storms expected. We could see several rounds already developing Tuesday uh, morning and more storms developing Tuesday afternoon right through Tuesday evening before everything starts to settle down. Today, as mentioned, some of these high thin clouds uh, filtering into southwestern Wisconsin as we go through the late morning hours into the early afternoon hours. We'll see these go into the Madison area as well. Temperatures in the upper 70s getting close to 80. A few showers, those will kind of fizzle out as they move across Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Now tomorrow morning, I think waking up in the morning after sunrise, we should see several hours of dry weather, but later in the morning, we'll start to see some rain spreading in. You can see how this is just spinning right out of Iowa into southwestern Wisconsin. Here we're at 1.30 headed toward Lone Rock, Dodgeville, Richland Center, eventually toward Madison as we go through the early afternoon hours. And this will rotate on through during the afternoon and uh, be out of here by the evening hours. And then we'll get a break in the uh, rain chances, looks like by uh, Monday night. But by Tuesday morning, another round comes in. And some of these storms that roll in, even in Tuesday morning, do have the potential of at least producing some hail and strong winds. A little bit of a break, then more rounds come through early in the afternoon. And then especially into the evening as we get toward the dinner hour, the early evening hours right before sunset, some strong to severe storms. This will produce some hail, damaging winds. Can't rule out an isolated tornado as well. So this is what we're going to be contending with, especially on Tuesday. All of southern Wisconsin will have to keep an eye on the skies. Uh, some of these storms could produce some of that severe weather threat. And right now, the main impacts are going to be wind and hail. Can't rule out some tornadoes in this situation with a lot of the spin up in the atmosphere. Now, the severe weather outlook tomorrow is minimal, a marginal risk, the lowest on the scale of one to five. Now, as we go into Tuesday on a scale of one to five, that is a category three, an enhanced risk of severe weather. Much of southern Wisconsin, uh, even into west central parts of the state, under that risk. We're right on the edge of the cool air up to the north, the warm air to the south. That's why we're going to see the, the active weather to start the week. And we will start to see some cooler weather arrive, it looks like, by Wednesday. And once again, we're going to be a little bit more seasonable toward the end of the week. Showers and storms tomorrow with the first warrant alert day on Tuesday for La Crosse. It does turn cooler on Wednesday with a high of 70 for Madison. The first warrant alert day on Tuesday as well. A little bit cooler by Wednesday as temperatures uh, drop down in the upper 60s and low 70s to end the upcoming work week. Kelly, thank you. Now to some more local news. Who doesn't love Girl Scout cookies every year, almost everywhere? There are lots of Girl Scouts in uniform on deck to sell the delicious boxes of cookies. For all their hard work and their amazing entrepreneurial spirit, they get a special day to celebrate. On Saturday, hundreds of Badgerland Girl Scouts showed up at Camp Badger Bur uh, Brandenburg for VIP Cookie Day. And with over 570 Girl Scouts earning the title of top cookie seller, meaning that many of the girls sold over 600 boxes of cookies. And amongst the Girl Scouts, there were 39 who were tip-top sellers, meaning they sold more than 2,024 boxes. We are just so pleased at the work that they've done. These are just amazing girls. They're entrepreneurs. They're, they're really uh, doing things that they are enjoying, and that's what happens when they sell cookies. And we'd like to give a special shout out to Girl Scout Willow Wales, a fourth grader from Janesville. She sold 7,214 boxes of cookies, which is way more than any of the Girl Scouts in all of Wisconsin. Good job, Willow, and all the other Scouts out there. Staying local on Saturday, Kids Building Wisconsin set out to inspire and encourage kids' interest in construction with their 10th annual event dedicated to the construction industry. It was held at McKee Farms in Fitchburg and was a fun-filled day of learning with well over 50 interactive exhibits. Super cool stuff there as well. In entertainment news, while stunning pieces of jewelry can be a common sight in some of the nation's biggest museums, a new exhibit in New York is putting a spotlight on the jewels, some of them tracing the history of hip hop. Jared Hill takes us inside the ice cold display from New York, fresh off the genre's 50th anniversary. From the gold rope chains of the 80s to the candy colored drip of today, Hip-hop jewelry 
has a new home. Everyone always points to the Biggie line, right? You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. And here we are in the American Museum of Natural History. Journalist Vicki Toback, curator of the Ice Cold exhibit, literally wrote the book on the 50 year relationship between the genre and the jewelry. What are you hoping people take away from this show? I hope people walk away from this show understanding that it's so much bigger than bling. It really is who you showing the world who you are. The connection between hip hop and jewelry has always been to be able to show your success. Roxanne Chante, a hip hop icon by just 15, after her hit Roxanne's Revenge became part of one of the first great rap beefs, has one of the smaller pieces in the exhibit. But it means a lot. The Juice Crew Ring was only given to someone who did good deeds in the community. I wanted it to show something a little different than just the wealth of hip hop. But whether it's custom grills, blinged out watches, Flavor Flav's clock, or Biggie's iconic Jesus piece, the opulence is still on full display in the museum's Hall of Gems and Minerals. Because uh, gems are a product of the natural world, jewelry is a way that gems are transformed that tells a set of cultural stories. Stories like the unexpected link between the artists who wear these works of art and the mostly immigrant jewelers who made them. That concept of the American dream, transcending your circumstances, hustling, not really adhering to any kind of limiting things, that's very hip hop. Many in the culture say hip hop never needed broader validation, but Roxanne Chante sees this moment as something different. So it just shows the appreciation for all that has been done with hip hop. Time now is 7.20. Still ahead, we're going to take a look at Andrew's report with sports. Plus, Kelly's back with a quick check of the forecast. We're right back. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait, everyone can agree on 1-800-Hansons because our windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life and our baths have a no leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-Hansons, get it done. I love the great outdoors. From indoors, it's a vibe. Do I enjoy being in nature? Mm -hmm. Do I like looking at it? For sure. So if maintaining forests maintains my happy place, yeah, I'm gonna be a papertarian. Living room? Sanctuary. Bathroom? Sanctuary. Other living room? Well, that's just extra. In America, we have private forests. So when you choose this, the forest people will replenish that. So those outdoor creatures can stay where they belong. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. 
Well, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka. Look at this beautiful double rainbow in Platteville. Thanks, Amy, for sending this in. Definitely some stormy skies there. And we do have some storms in our forecast this week as well. First warn alert day, gusty winds, hail, isolated tornado. We can't rule this out. This will be coming in for all of southern Wisconsin Tuesday right through Tuesday evening. Nothing like that this morning. Temperatures in the 50s in La Crosse, 56, 60 right now in the Adels, 58 in Lone Rock, 63 in Watertown, 62 currently in Madison. A lot of sunshine this morning. Starting to see some high thin clouds streaming, especially areas to the west and northwest of Madison toward La Crosse through the afternoon hours from filtered sunshine. Should remain dry. Some showers getting close to parts of the Cooley region. Most of that will stay up toward northwestern Wisconsin. Now tomorrow morning starting out dry. But as we go through the morning hours, you can see how this rotates in some showers and storms rolling in during the morning hours in the afternoon before dissipating. So as you plan your day, a lot of sunshine to start the day, a little bit more cloud cover in La Crosse with temperatures in the upper 70s, near 80 today in Madison, more sunshine and lighter winds than yesterday. More of the severe weather potential this week coming up. Former Wisconsin men's hockey coach Marco Siki held his sixth annual Casting for Kids fishing tournament yesterday. 80 boats buoyed the waters of Madison, looking to reel in the most fish, and you could not have asked for a nicer day for it. They, they hauled in just about every fish in all of Madison's five lakes and kept raising money for the Carbone Cancer Center afterwards at a silent auction. That's why Mark does this, and that's why he gets so excited to help his community that he tells me he gets those game day jitters the day before. I think what's most rewarding, again, working with the people and seeing the people, again, they're phenomenal. That's what this thing's all about. But you see kids coming through here right now that have been affected by uh, things at the children's hospital, different diseases, cancer, and you're seeing them, and you see the effects, potentially what our awareness, we're not raising that much money yet, uh, but the awareness certainly is gonna help. And Jeff Sanger said it best. Uh, no one went through the, the children's hospital and the cancer uh, center, and he's a survivor. And our little bit that we're doing here helps. It really helps. Brewers down in Houston trying to even the series with the Astros, tied at ones in the fifth, and then William Contreras happens, because who else would it be? Truly not just one of the best catchers in baseball, one of the best players in baseball. Smashes a home run and brings two more Brewers in with him. Getting this guy, it could go down as an all-time trade for the crew. He's hitting 350 with seven bombs and 37 RBIs and was the difference maker last night. The crew won it. Four to two was the final. Beloit College's second straight trip to the NCAA tournament was cut short yesterday after they lost each of their first two games in their regional. With that loss, their season ends, but it was a truly fantastic season. Meanwhile, in Whitewater, things could not have gone much better. With yesterday's blowout, 20-3 win, they move into the final day, or today, of their regional undefeated. All they've got to do is win one game, and they advance. That's your morning sports fix. Have a sensational Sunday.